Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ain Nur Najwa Fatia binti Zulkafli. My metric number is 2022937619. And I'm from HM2423B1. Um, today, I would like to talk about my mock persuasive speech with you guys. First of all, did you agree with the statement where students should not study something that they are not passionate about? Okay, let me start with the definition of patient. Do you know what is patient is? Okay, basically patient is uh, when you put more energy into something than is required. It is more uh, like um, just excitement. Patient is ambition that is materialized into action to put as much heart, mind, body and soul into something as is possible. Okay, I want you to try to picture this situation. You attend a drama club on weekly basis and have a huge passion for drama and theatre. You come alive when you are on stage and love the buzz of performing. But as your parents and teacher point out, you are really good at science subject. Uh, if you really apply yourself, you could even become a doctor, a vet or maybe a scientist. Maybe whether uh, intentionally but, uh, or not, your parents uh, are putting pressure on you to pursue practical and valuable um, degree like biological and keep drama and theatre as a hobby since the common, uh, the common opinion that is becoming a professional actor is extremely difficult given the level of competition you might end up uh, in a dead end job instead okay as you can see the fact that the most students uh, didn't study in what their passion but they study based on what their parents choice because uh, sometimes uh, we did that we did forget that we, uh, we are studying lead to our future uh, did you think you can adapt with something you don't love until your last breath? I don't think so. Maybe some of the students tend to choose what their parents um, love rather to put themselves first. So this is why I think this topic is important to you guys. Because as a college student, um. We must ask ourselves uh, what we are passionate about, um, uh, the career that you choose for yourself. Maybe uh, there is many uh, college students struggle to find their truly calling about their future. So during this presentation, if I shed a light on any doubt you might have for today, that means I successfully did my job. Uh, this is the question that you need to ask yourself. What is the major uh, you have chosen for yourself? Do you consider a career that you'll feel for a long time? Okay, uh, let's say you don't really know what to do with your life, which is completely okay by the way. Uh, is, it is really wise to study a degree you love without even uh, a value idea? Of what you did uh, like to do afterwards. If uh, your degree doesn't directly lead to a career path. It can be difficult to uh, trying to decide which part to take after that. You might end up feeling confused and lost about what to do next. Once the excitement uh, of graduation day fade away. Uh, there is... Uh, there is uh, also a fact that university is simply not cheap for you to keep change uh, from another university to another university. Um, <clears throat> but when you find the right major for yourself, then you will know. Um, all about this is timing. Likewise, everything needs time to figure it out. You cannot simply uh, force it because uh, things that you false will not run smoothly and can lead to stress for yourself 
um therefore i'm confident that you know that you already did your best to choose whatever best for you and it can also uh, satisfy your parents um expectation uh, so everything have positive and negative side you need to consider both of them before you want to do anything so this is the positive and negative side of uh doing something you love you don't love i'm sorry uh the positive side is most of people have a lot of uh, more than one uh, thing they are passionate about so you kind of enjoy it even though you don't like it but then uh negative side is you tend to do it because you need to do it not because you love to do it as uh, and you will also neglecting your well-being after all you have not failed because you are not sure about a specific major and it's okay to take time to figure it out what is best for you